Hey everyone, just wanted to check back in with you all. Obviously it's Friday, and if you're doing what you should be doing, then today you will be turning in completed assignments, either through the school or through email. Um, either one works. I understand some of you already are unable to make it to the school. That's okay. Uh, like I said, we're willing to work with you on that. I wanted to take just a minute to go over this next week's assignments. The format is going to change slightly because of some of the new um, government guidelines that have been put in place, um, but I still want to make sure we're on the same page with what's uh, expected of you. So uh, for 7th and 8th grade, um, for Bible class, I'm going to put together lectures. We're going to keep moving through the book, and so I'm going to uh, screen record just like I am right now, but I'm going to be able to actually record the Route 66, note, the Route 66 notes. Um, the ones that you know I would normally put up on the screen and you would copy down uh, the notes, I'm gonna be doing those on my iPad and then I'm gonna post them on YouTube. And so I'm gonna get those posted and you'll be able to actually follow along in your Route 66 book and write down the notes just like you would in class time. And what's great is this time, you know, if I'm going too fast or something, you'll be able to pause and get, uh, get everything written down. So it'll work really well. Um, so I'm gonna start posting those every week um, so just be on the lookout for that. Um, you need to read through uh, whatever book that we're going to be studying each week. So this week it's going to be Habakkuk. So you need to try and read through or listen to the book of Habakkuk and then your memory verse. Now you didn't have one of those last week, but you're going to have one this week, okay? You're going to have to memorize and write out Habakkuk 3.2, okay? Habakkuk 3.2. It's right there. Um, and whenever you get ready to write that down, you need to have one of your parents sit there with you and make sure that you're not you know, just copying it down from a card or something. I wanna make sure that you're actually trying to write this from memory, okay? And so whenever it comes time to work on that, make sure that you are, um, you're set up with your parents uh, so that you can actually write that down from memory, all right? For history, we're gonna have chapter 25. If you remember last week, I had both chapters 24 and 25 down, but I told you we weren't gonna do chapter 25 last week. We're doing that one this week. So if you've already completed it, great job. Enjoy the week off from history. Um, but for those of you who have not yet completed chapter 25, um, same thing, I'm gonna post a video. Um, and this really goes for everyone. I'm gonna post a video for pretty much every class, at least introducing the material, telling you what we're gonna be working on this week. Some of the videos will be like full on lectures, like with Bible class, um, junior high, high school, some of them like with history. It'll be a little bit shorter because there's so much reading that you're gonna need to do on your own. Um, but Pretty much every class is going to have at least some sort of introduction lesson uh, for each week. So make sure you're watching those as they come out. Um, again, I'll try and add links to those in the email that I send out to all the parents. Um, but for chapter 25, you'll need to read through. You'll need to fill out the um, attached chapter questions and your timelines just like you would in class. Um, so really the only difference is you're wearing pajamas instead of coming to school. But the work itself is pretty much the same, okay? So I have the same expectations of you, and if you have any questions, absolutely call me, FaceTime me, email me, get a hold of me however you can. Um, I'm still your teacher, and I still need to be here ready to answer any questions you have. So don't be afraid to reach out to me. Don't be like, well, I don't want to bother him because he's at home. No, I'm, I'm your teacher, so it's your job to ask me questions if you don't know the material, okay? I'm here for you. So that's it for junior high. Um, again, I'm going to send this whole page out an email so you'll have it for the whole week. That way you don't have to memorize everything you're supposed to do. It's right here and you can come right back to it and your parents will know what you're supposed to do as well. So, uh, ninth and 10th grade, it's your time. Um, for Bible, I'm gonna post a couple of uh, lecture videos on the life of David. Uh, that's where we left off um, before we stopped going to the school building. And so we're gonna do just a little bit of review on the life of David, as well as continue on through his um, his kingship and then eventually his death. And so I'm gonna post um, actual lectures, videos of me teaching that material on YouTube. So you'll need to be on the lookout for those um, and make sure that you're watching those and taking notes. Obviously you don't have actual workbooks that you're gonna be filling out, you know that, um, but I do expect you to pay attention to the lectures. I expect you to take notes and then it's gonna it's gonna be your job to turn in those notes at the end of the week and I will grade you on how thorough your notes are how well organized how good your handwriting if you want to type it out on an iPad that is fine too but I'm gonna grade you on how good those notes are so make sure you're doing a good job okay 
And then, again, you need to be continuing your semester reading for um, Samuel Kings and Chronicles. Make sure you get that done, okay? That's going to be basically your final. Um, so you have to make sure you get that done. Uh, as far as English goes, I'm going to attach another um, list of spelling words. This one's going to be a little bit different. Whereas last week I had you write them out 10 times, this week you only have to write each word out five times. But next to each word, I want you to write down the definition of that word, okay? Um, because I'm not able to give you a spelling test the way that I did in class, I want you to actually learn the words. And so you need to be writing down the definition of each word as you write it out, okay? Another thing I would encourage you, um, especially those of you who struggle a little bit more with spelling, make sure that you sound the word out as you spell it. That'll help get it in your mind because if you hear something, you tend to remember it better than if you read it. But if you're reading and saying it at the same time, that's when you remember things the best. And so as you're writing out each word, you need to say each letter, sound it out. That way you can get that word really cemented in your mind. Um, you also need to continue working with your groups uh, to complete your paper on vaccinations. I don't think those are done yet. Again, that's probably going to be due about halfway through April. So you have just a couple of weeks left. Um, I'll get you a final date probably in the packet I send out next week, um, but you need to make sure that you're getting those done and taken care of because um, that'll be your final for English, okay? As far as history goes, 9th and 10th, um, pretty simple. Uh, just read chapter 29, lessons 1 through 4. Um, do your chapter questions for each lesson. Um, I'll send out the chapter quiz. I'm going to send links to all of this in the email as well. So um, basically everything that I, I printed out for you last week, I'm going to send that electronically instead. So you can either print it out yourself or you can just download it onto a tablet um, or a computer or however you want to do it, fill it out, and then send it back to me that same way. Um, that's completely up to you, whatever's easier. Um, if it's easier to just print it and write it, you can take a picture of that and email that to me. Um, so long as I have evidence that you completed your work and I can see the work and read your work and grade it for you, um, you'll be okay. I'm flexible there, okay? Just make sure that you're getting it done. Um, I said it earlier in the video, but uh, just in case um, you missed that part, I'm going to be posting videos for just about every single class, uh, Bible, history, junior high, um, high school, uh, Bible, history, English, all of that. I'll be posting an introductory video on the school's YouTube account to explain the material for each week. And so make sure that you're logging on there on a regular basis. I know it's cliche, but seriously, um, like and subscribe, turn on the notifications. You need to know every single time the teachers are posting new lectures on that account because that is our primary means of teaching you right now. And so you, you don't wanna go to a teacher at the end of the week and be like, well, I, I didn't know there was a video and so I didn't do my work. No, it's your job to make sure you know that those videos are going up. We told you they're going up, you know they're going up. Make sure you watch them and do the work, okay? Um, other than that, it's pretty simple. So again, if you need my help, you can email me, you can call me, you can FaceTime me, text me, it doesn't matter. I'm here for you. Um, I wanna make sure that I'm, I'm helping you in every way that I can. So make sure we're getting the work done and we will enjoy the rest of this semester.